God, I'm, I'm so scared of falling in. I'm actually not terrified. This is horrible. This is the one reason why I haven't played Subnautica in VR because that just sounds like the worst time of my life. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. He's so scared. Oh, no. He's smiling at me. He's smiling. Why is he smiling? You know, after playing the Valheim VR mod, I really didn't think that I'd find another flat screen to VR mod that would bring me as much joy as the Valheim one did. But thanks to Big Shams here, they told me that Raft also has a VR mod, much like Valheim's. And while I was originally planning on waiting a while to play it, because I've got a few other VR games that I want to play first, I really wanted to find out if the mod was actually any good. Unfortunately, it was just as good, but it was also just as scary. That's the one reason I didn't want to play this. That guy right there. So this building, building. Hello? Oh, 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 he's, oh, um, 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 oh my god, stop, stop, please. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I don't know the controls, I don't know the controls, I don't know the controls. <gasps> no, oh no, I crafted the wrong thing. Oh, my heart actually sank. Oh my god, that is so scary. That is the scariest thing ever. Oh no, now I'm panicking. I can't, I'm running out of squares. I need my, I need wood, I need wood, please. God, that was this. oh my god. Oh my god, this is going horrendously. This is embarrassing. All right, so let's go here, grab this one out. Oh, look at that. Oh. I should have put it there, I don't know, I got excited. God damn it. Just like my experience with Valheim, I had barely played Raft before. I think I had about two hours of playtime from like over a year ago. And even then that was playing with people that had played the game for a lot longer than I had. So I was just kind of along for the ride. But one thing I did remember is that the game was low-key terrifying. And adding VR to the mix sure as hell didn't help. Being stuck out in the middle of the ocean on a tiny little raft and having no idea what to do while there's also a shark circling you is a literal nightmare. I don't think I've ever played a game that's made me squeal like I did while playing this mod. I was whimpering. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going for this lot. Oh, well, no worries. Let's just go, whatever, send it. Oh, oh my God, Jesus Christ almighty. Oh my God, he's eating me again. Okay, all right, this isn't going very well. Oh, there he is right there. He's ready here. Doesn't give me any sec. Doesn't give me a chance. Not a chance to recover from the trauma he just gave me. He's straight onto it. One thing that really shocked me about this game is that it looks so damn beautiful in VR. The water is so nice to just stare at. And then the sunsets and sunrises come along and it's just Damn! That shit good! Whoa! Oh my god, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. That is I can't wait to have a little campfire here. We can just be chilling under the moonlight. Oh, wow. Not only did this game look incredible in VR though, it plays incredibly as well. I don't know how these people are modding these games to work so well in VR, but they are doing such an incredible job. Like the hook for starters, you actually have to throw it and I love that. So how's this work? Oh, look at that. So wait, you can like throw it far, right? Oh, we almost got the bird. Whoa, big throws. Oh no. Much like when I first played the Valheim mod, I was completely expecting that you'd have to press buttons and the actions would just kind of go themselves. But fortunately for neither mods, that isn't the case. They play like actual VR games. I'm honestly so glad that the people making these mods aren't just simply making it a game that can run in a VR headset. They're turning these games into full-blown virtual reality experiences. But it doesn't stop at the hook. It's everything. The anchor you have to actually drop in the water yourself. The fishing rod you can cast out. Kinda. What the hell was that? Then there's the thing that shocks me the most with these mods, the arms. They just look and work perfectly. They're the correct size and you don't even have to calibrate them or anything, which is something that full blown VR games sometimes don't even get right with calibrating. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Oh my God, oh my God, I really, I really messed that one up. So we messed that, oh my God, you dog. Get the hell off my boat. Yeah, get out of here, you cheeky. What the hell, oh, I killed him. <gasps> no way! I freaking killed him! I need one more bit of scrap, just one more. It's all I need, it's all about there. Maybe I'm safe from the shark for now. Have a look, is there any more sharks around? I don't know like how long of a reprieve we get, but I'm hoping it's a long one. Oh my god, I'm never going this far away from my raft ever again. This is a one-time thing. Oh, there's a new shark already. Wow, they're quick. They smell blood of their own kind and they're like, oh my god, someone's dead. The only thing that doesn't really work all that well is the combat. Since you would normally just click a button to stab something, you'd know if you got it. But since the game obviously doesn't really have any collision between your tools and a shark or something, you can't really tell if you're actually hitting it or not. And when you have a shark chomping away at your raft, it can be a bit frustrating and very worrying. I honestly think I'd just prefer if the modders put in like a Modern Warfare 2 hit marker or something. 
One other thing that was a bit difficult about the mod is the UI. It's not that it's a bad UI or anything, it's just a bit small when it comes to using it in VR. And when you combine that with it being stuck to your hand, it moves around a lot if your hand shakes just like the tiniest bit, along with the laser pointer doing the same on the other hand, so it just makes it kind of difficult. Fortunately though, there is a UI scaler mod. I haven't actually tried it myself, I only just found out about it as I was recording this. So if you're looking to play this mod, I would highly recommend getting that because I feel like it will help a lot. Aside from those cons, it's still a hell of a good time until you jump in the water. If you think being chased underwater by a shark is terrifying in this game normally, it hits a whole lot harder in VR. It's one thing to have a shark chasing after you on a screen, but when you've got Bruce right in your face chomping away at you, it's horrifying. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh, so scary. All in all though, this is another fantastic VR mod. I'm seriously loving seeing all these PC games getting incredible VR mods. If you're aware of any other mods like this for PC games, let me know down in the comments below because I would be more than happy to check them out. This is awesome, look at that. <laughs> what? So cool, man. So cool. I am loving this. But for now, that's it for today, everyone. As usual, thank you for being here and thank you for giving me your time. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you've been here before, hey, welcome back. I hope you all have a great week and that your rafts are sailing and your sharks are leaving you the f alone. Bye, friends.